I shadowed over 50 chiropractors' offices. I mean, they're not known that to do that in the chiropractic as a student. People are like, where do you find time? I'm like, I'm going to make time. I want to be, I'm ambitious. I want to learn. And I got, when I got to that level of success, it was awesome financially. But then I was like, but who's me? Like, is this really my, is this really the, the, the stone of how I'm presenting chiropractic? Is this really the legend or the, the influence I want to share with the world? Is this my voice? And it wasn't. And I realized I was conditioned in so many ways and I had to unlearn all that. And it's the same thing where, you know, going into the end of my, my chiropractic career, it was one of the stuff that my wife and I looked at and said, we have such a huge impact in our community, but it was more me saying this, but, but my impact to the world is so small, like minute to nothing. And I said, I, I feel like I want to do bigger things. And if I don't take this risk, if I don't take this jump right now, I will regret this for us because I don't want to live with regrets. That's the, that's another motivating factor in my life. Like, I want to live on E. I want to know that I did everything I could in my life. Mm, that I, I want to live on E. Say that again, please. I want to live on E. That's fucking cool. I like that. Yeah, I forgot. I, and it, I can't take credit for it. I think it was, uh, uh, I see I'm not good with names. Do um, it like Michael Scott. Something, something, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Michael something, Scott. somebody. <laughs> it, uh, he's the yeah, hip hop preacher. Anyhow, <laughs> I heard him say it one time and I was like, oh, that is genius. 